Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing all well. In today's video I am going to show you how I make these mini hoops filled with wildflowers and resin. These hoops are quite small. They are only seven and a half centimeters in diameter and I thought these hoops would make a really nice present for my son's teachers. So without further ado let's get to it. So basically I got these hoops from Amazon. I will link everything down below and originally they were in set of four of different size so I got four sets and took just these little hoops today so yeah first thing that I did and I didn't show it on camera to you I mix my resin and let it sit because it's better that it's thicken up so it's less seepage underneath and here I am using sticky sheet and I am placing the hoops on it and pressing them hard so they get better connection and for a bit I am placing on top this wood panel again to just press them down better and after all that it is time to pour the first layer of black resin and I am pouring about two three millimeters because this is going to be the back backdrop and here I go I am trying to work fast for this because always there will be a little bit of spillage underneath so after when it's done I cover them again with my wood panel place a lot heavy things on top and leave them to cure for 24 hours it is the next day and here you can see I have prepared my flowers for these little frames and as you can see yes as always there is a little bit of seepage but it's okay and here I have prepared a little amount of resin that I am calling in this layer, this resin, a glue which I apply just a tiny bit and place then my flowers. So I am starting with this beautiful nigella that I pressed myself. All flowers that I use have been pressed and collected by myself because I know flowers can be and are quite pricey. If you like videos about resin and everything connected to resin consider to subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell so that way you don't miss any of my future videos and another piece of information that I will let you know is that as I am uploading videos twice a week for now uh, I am going to do on Wednesdays my coaster videos and on Saturdays I am going to upload videos that involve creations with dry pressed flowers.
So my flowers have been arranged. Now I'm letting them cure. And this is the next day. So my next step is to get them off this sticky sheet. And because this sticky sheet is leaving a residue, I will clean them with isopropyl alcohol. And then when that's been done, I am going to put the last third layer of clear resin on top and then they are going to be done. So now it's the time to fill with the last clear layer and as you can see I've done one because I have left just a little bit of clear resin and I thought not to waste it but already put it on this lovely frame. And here we have all the frames ready and they are small but I still love them. I hope you found this video entertaining and useful. Please leave a comment down below and let me know. But for now I'm saying goodbye. Keep creating. Until next time, bye!